Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a chicken breast in the slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I have a bone in chicken breast here. This one is, one is 1.45 pounds and it was $4.99 per pound. So $7.24. This is organic chicken. Rosie the organic chicken. It's a little pricier, but it's pretty good chicken. So I'm just going to rinse it off here and then um, we will get it into the slow cooker. And I'm going to season this on both sides with some of this Kinder's Mild Barbecue Rub. You can season it any way that you like. This is kind of like seasoning salt in a way. So we'll just get that, uh, see which best way to do it. My, my crock pot has a temperature probe, so I'm going to use it on this. And if you don't, your pot doesn't have a probe, I'll just tell you how long it took. So, um, okay, we'll get the lid on there. And you can see that it has a hole right there. And the probe just plugs into the side of the pot. And this goes right through here. I'll just try to get it right to the thick part of the chicken breast right there. You can see where the temperature probe plugs into the side of the pot right there. So now I'll just turn this on and I'll push probe and high and then enter and 160 degrees Fahrenheit I think that's good normally chicken breast you want cooked to 165 but it will usually keep cooking for a while once that shuts off so usually that's just about right while this is cooking the temperature flashes back and forth it shows you the done temperature is 160 that's what it what your end temperature is and right now the meat temperature is 44 degrees Fahrenheit so just keep switching back and forth it's kinda cool it's been about two hours and the pot shut off about uh, 10 minutes ago and it goes to warm it doesn't shut completely off so let's check and see what the meat temperature has climbed up to since it shut off so it shuts off at 160 okay we'll restart it It's 175, 175 degrees Fahrenheit it climbed to. So I'm just going to um, turn the pot off right there and then I'll dry it out. So this took about two hours on high if you don't have a thermometer. You should be able to just pull that out right like that. And we'll open it up. And we'll grab a plate and try it out. This looks pretty juicy. I see a lot of juice running out, but let's cut into it and see how it looks here. Looks pretty good to me. One thing about uh, cooking chicken in the slow cooker though is the skin. It doesn't really get crispy, it's kind of soggy, but you can put it under the broiler for a few minutes if you wanted to. Anyway, let's try a bite of that. Turned out pretty good, it's nice and moist. That rosy the organic chicken's good stuff. Chicken's nice and moist, but the skin's not very good, it's soggy, so I give some of that to Annie. Here you go, Annie. <laughs> she had no problem with it. <laughs> a temperature probe works really good for that because you can cook it to the exact temperature so you don't dry it out. But anyway, that was two hours on high, and I didn't add any liquids. So if you do it on low, maybe three or four hours. But anyway, write everything in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.